Hello, Gamer Paulie back again with another video, and this time it's Life is Strange on the PlayStation 4. Um, got an interesting looking one, this. An adventure game by Square Enix. So, a bit of a change, um, a time travelling twist. I like the look of this one. I've got the whole season. Um, episode 2 uh, is coming out pretty soon. Um, so I'm sure some of you are thinking you're a bit late to the party with this, this one, Gamer Paulie. Lots of people have done videos already on it. I thought, well, um, I was meaning to, just lots of things got in the way. Um, I'll do my game of Paulie plays. Um, if there's enough interest, I'll continue on with the series. Um, let's get cracking then with a new game. Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in game actions and decisions will impact the past, the present, and the future. Choose wisely. Just like the Holy Grail on uh, Indiana Jones. A stormy night. And a young lady laying on the floor in the soaking wet and thunderstorms. Probably not the best place to be. Good question. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Off we go then to the lighthouse. And a sign very conveniently tells us is the way to the lighthouse. So, you've got no idea, no memory how you end up on a soaking wet floor out in the middle of uh, wherever this is. There's a hurricane in the distance. Very Wizard of Oz esque. What have we got here? Blackwell Academy, is it? We need to get into safety. Oh. Holy shit. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm These in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I can't believe she I still have this pencil torture, case. Right? I should upgrade yeah, to the frankly, 21st bullshit. century. But I like it old school. Seriously, I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And capture you in a moment of desperation. My little camera bag is battered, but still and kicking. Of you could do that to me. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? So quite an unusual game, this one, then, uh, by Square Enix. Uh, time traveling adventure game. Um, pretty much everything you do has an effect on, as they said, past, present, and the future. The choices you make, or the people you speak to. This is your journal. Um, keeps track of all the people you make and the different um, tasks you need to do. You fill it in. It's kind of like a scrapbook, I suppose. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose I to do love my analog camera. Of their beauty or I should take a quick picture now. She had a brilliant eye. 
So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of I her I should work. take a picture to prove I'm I still here. Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? I did know. Let's play it safe, then. I did know. But I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Don't you just hate class swats? The know-it-alls. I think they know bloody everything. That's, uh, Victoria. All about him. In your textbook. Or even- Sorry, Max. No more- and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, dear. Not teacher's pet at the minute, but we can certainly tell who is. And she's leaning over there. Victoria doesn't waste a second yes. kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Have a sneak peek of her tablet then. What's she looking at? Looking at a new camera. So we have a, a budding photographer. It's a competition. Almost six grand. Yep, I can afford one of them. Uh, what we got here? Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. So you'll find lots of little pictures and notes about, and uh, when you get them, they'll fill in your, your little notebook. So it's worth um, investigating everything you can. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson. Ten reasons to get electronic mail. Oh, I think everyone uses email by now, don't they? That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Someone doing a bit of photoshopping or something else. Right. This is the poor girl that got the paper flicked at her. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. 
Sure. The infamous paper ball. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Oh dear. Kids can be cruel, can't they? Yep. And they, you know, what we got. Hmm. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Oh, and take a photo. So that's what we'll do. There we go. You can see it's saving there. If I click on the journal, it's added that in, and all those other little pics, um, the black and white, like pencil type drawings, you can take pictures of them and save them in your notebook. Quite interesting. So, anything else we can uh, have a quick look at? Another poster? So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is them. definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Nice big screen Man, TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Another poster. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. We've got a photo competition then um, going on in class. And the winner will fly to San Francisco. Very nice. Another picture? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. The game's quite dialogue heavy, as you have uh, sure you've noticed. I try not to talk over it as best I can. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I s every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. So, we can look at Victoria. That's, uh flirting with the old teacher. You always get one, don't you? This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I didn't have time. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Aha, uh -huh. right. Not a lot else we can do with those two then. I think there's a great deal more in the class I can do. So we'll head on out into the hallway. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you always Welcome look to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture during the because Max wants everybody to see how he is. I'm not paying She plays it so <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Ah, uh, school and college. I remember it well. Stick the old headphones in and, uh, and drift off. Yep. The little groups or cliques they used to call them.